I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Pray for our leaders. Pray for President Biden. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, share, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, pass it on the faith of the next generation. Like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get a wrap. It's available to all major platforms. Share. Sharing is caring when it comes to Higher Things as content. And donate. Your tax-deductible gift to Higher Things keeps us filling the ears of our youth, the youth around the world, with the saving power of the gospel of Jesus Christ. First of all, then, I urge... I beg that supplications, prayers, and thanksgiving be made for all people, for kings, and all in high positions, that we may lead a peaceable life and a quiet life, a godly and a dignified, a dignified life in every way. 1 Timothy 2, 1 and 2. All right. No matter how you view what transpired in March and, and I'm sorry, in November and December, whether you are dancing in the streets or you're in mourning, whether you believe that the election was fair or you believe that the thing was rigged, it doesn't matter. We have a president. He's been inaugurated and we were given to pray for him. Talking like, well, that isn't my president or your president did this, isn't, isn't really sort of factual. I, um, you can call me by a different name. You can say that my name is Tim, but my name is still George. Um, and so it's not sort of factual to not recognize, if you're a citizen of the United States, a duly um, an inaugurated president, whether you think that it was the process was fair or not. And the way to deal with that in a Christian way, is to pray for him. We should pray for President Biden. We should pray that the Lord grants him wisdom. Pray that the Lord grants him um, discernment. Pray that, that peace be in our land and in our world. And pray that God grants us good government, faithful government. Notice, that doesn't mean you gotta want to give Joe a big old hug it doesn't mean that suddenly you like him. It doesn't mean that you're his biggest fan. Um, I personally did not vote for President Biden, but that doesn't change the fact that he was he was inaugurated yesterday. So that so I, I would plead with you for the sake of the gospel. And and remember that when Paul writes this to Timothy, we are just a hop, skip, and a jump from praying for for emperors who are killing Christians. Nero, Domitian, and the like. Persecution's coming. And yet, even in the midst of persecution, even if you believe that persecution is coming for the Christian faith, and I believe it's already here, we're still given to pray for our leaders every single solitary day. Think about it. Pray about it. And pray for Pro President Biden. I'm Pastor George Borkart, Sleeping Thor, and this has been another Higher Things Video Short.